Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking about class level attributes. So first let's make sure we're on the same page with the word attribute. So right now every book we create has a title and a number of pages. These describe the book and therefore they are known as attributes. However, we can create attributes or just variables essentially at the class level rather than at the object level. So what's that going to look like? We would create one like let's say favorites. And this is just going to start as an empty list. And notice we're not saying self like we're doing here. So when we say self, it refers to the object. When we're not using self, it just refers to all books. It's defined within this book class. So when we're talking about a list of favorite books, that does not describe one individual book. That's something that's shared among all of the books. Every book can be a favorite. So how do we use something like this? Well, let's go down here and we're going to get rid of these print statements. We are going to create this book and we're also going to create another book. So we'll say book two. And this is going to be another children's book I read. Well, I didn't really read it. I didn't like it, but it's called The Diggingest Dog. I'm pretty sure these are the only two children's books I remember and I'm going to be using them throughout this whole series. So you guys should probably just rent them and read them. They're pretty, pretty good reads, at least the first one here. All right, so this one's gonna be 72 pages as well. So now what we can do is we can say book, referring to the class, see the capital B here. So I'm not referring to the object. We're referring to the class. And then dot favorites. So it's accessible on the class. And then dot append, and we can put our favorite books in here. So we'll put in book, and I'm also gonna execute this again and pass in book two. All right, so both of these are being added into that list. And what we can do is we can print book.favorites. All right, run this. And it looks like the output is a little weird and we're gonna fix that soon. But for now, just know that this represents that first book that we added, and this represents the second book. If you want it to be a little bit prettier, what you could do is just say for B in book.favorites, print B.title. All right, so for every single book in this list, we're gonna print its title. So that's what that code does, and running this, and you get the two titles. And that is how you create a class level attribute. Next up, I'm gonna be teaching you how to make printing an object a little bit clearer. Because if you go in here and you change this to just B, so we're just printing the object, while well, running this, we get something really ugly. So this talks about what type it is and where it's located in memory. However, I want a prettier representation, maybe saying the book's title and how many pages it is. So stay tuned, that's what we're gonna be talking about next.